in today's class we are going to discuss about what is called as an hypermedia and why we are implementing in the multimedia applications that and all we are going to see in our today's class so first of all while i am saying hypermedia we have to know about what do you know about the hypertext so hypertext we already seen in the chapter 4 itself so once again i am repeating hypertext is nothing but a is a cross referencing tool which connects the links to other text using which one using some kind of hyperlinks so hypertext we are using only the text whereas in hypermedia while going to the hypermedia concept it involves graphics images video and audio and so on we are using in the hypermedia so what equal as in hypermedia so what what is the best example for hypermedia that and all we are going to see in our today's class first let me see what do you know about hypermedia hypermedia is nothing but an is an extension of the term hypertext i already mentioned that hypertext is nothing but it involves only text so using the text we are going to use the some kind of hyperlinks whereas hypermedia is an extension of the hypertext is a non linear medium of information that includes graphics audio video plain text and hyperlinks also so what is the best example for this hypermedia is nothing but hypermedia is nothing but is the approach to building information systems made up of some kind of nodes of various media that only we have seen the such as text audio data video data etc so the for that we are giving the example of best example is world wide web so world wide web is a classic example of the hypermedia to access web content whereas in non interactive cinema presentation is an example of a standard multimedia while i am saying this world wide web it is only act to access the web content so what we are going to see next is hypermedia messaging so while i am saying hypermedia messaging we know that different elements of hypermedia is wow, different elements of multimedia is text audio video then and so on we are uh, know that these are the elements of multimedia so based upon that multimedia elements we are going for the hypermedia messaging so hypermedia messaging is nothing but is a message hypermedia message yeah, that can be a simple message in the form of text with some kind of embedded graphics soundtrack or video clip or it may be a result of the analysis of the materials that may be cd roms and other online applications so this is what the hypermedia messaging contains so it is what is the example that is what is the best application for the hypermedia messaging is email based application so in email based generally in email based web application what we are going to do we are going to send the message the sender will send the message and the receiver will get the message this is what we are going to send in the email process so in that email application so email based of document interchange is known as messaging service so this is what the hypermedia messaging concept involved in this email application and it contribute to corporate productivity in the following ways so it following some kind of the corporate productivity way, procedures it strengthens the automation of documentation life cycle it allows document sharing without forcing an organization to standardize on a particular word processor it cuts down paper output generated by organization so from this what you are going to do you are going for the non manualization it is a full you are going for the digitalization process that is what this email based application will involves through the help of the multimedia messaging next one hypermedia messaging what it do means in the email based application messaging started out as a simple text based electronic mail application we are going to send only in the simple text in email application a lot of hypermedia types have been proposed so not only this email application is an example we are having lot of hypermedia types involved in the email based application that is cc xml that is extension extension markup language rdf xml sensor based ml site type xml these are the different hypermedia types we are going to propose in the hypermedia messaging 
So based upon that, once again, I am repeating this. All these XML documents, a lot of hyperparameter types have been proposed. What are they means? CC XML, or DF XML, and sensor based ML, site map XML. So next, while I am saying hypermedia messaging, only email based application is followed in our the internet. That is web based double 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 world wide web. No, we are using mobile messaging also. That is also contains some kind of web content. So mobile messaging is generally what you call as a mobile messaging. What it will do means mobile messaging represents a new dimension in the user interaction with the messaging. Okay. So it, the best example is what we are using the my high mobile messaging application, hypermedia application is nothing but we are using WhatsApp, Twitter. These are the some of the examples of the mobile messaging. Whereas you are while I'm saying hypermedia messaging, the another one example. Take the, the world wide web example. Uh, on you, if you are going with a, one kind of website, you are seeing some kind of, some of the notifications. Okay, that may be the a mission that is ML or AA based customer that is the client uh, that is AA based one of the messaging uh, will act that human interaction concept. Okay, so that yeah, what what I am saying is whatever queries if you if you are the some of the queries that is in the, while you are going to the in the, some of the website you can see in the right side at the top or at the bottom you can see the some of the messaging tools. Okay. So what they will do means that AI based tools, what they do, do means it will ask me, hi, how are you? What do you need? Like that, the question will be asked. Uh, it's, it may be rice means what we are going to do. If any relevant data, if I, if I want some of the information from the website means I can quote it in there. Okay. I give my query for that query it, that AI based human act will reply for them. So that is also hypermedia messaging concept. So next, we are, what we are going to see is hypermedia messaging components. So we already seen that hypermedia, what are the different hypermedia messaging components? Text message, rich text message, then voice message, full motion video management, then full motion video authoring systems. This and all we have already seen in our fourth chapter itself, the, the same components we are going to implement in the hypermedia messaging also. The next, Main main uh, concept is that main component is that video for window. So these are the extra components apart from the uh, full motion video, text, voice. Apart from that, uh, these are the uh, components we have seen in the fourth unit. But while I'm saying fifth unit, video uh, video for window is an, another one new component we are involved in the hypermedia messaging. So this and all we are going to see in the next class. Thank you.